Let's pray for President Donald J. Trump. Come on in agreement with me. Papa, we just approach you through a new and living way that you have afforded to us through the blood of your son, Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for the powers of the age to come. We thank you, Lord, for the glories of the new creation. And we ask, Lord, on behalf of the United States of America, we thank you that every tribe and tongue and nation will appear before you in your reign on the earth. So Lord, let it be on earth as it is in heaven. And we stand as Americans. And we join into agreement with your purposes for this nation and for the destiny of our leader, Donald J. Trump. We thank you for the right to rule that's been passed to Donald J. Trump's hand. We ask, Lord, that you would anoint his pen. Lord, that what no eye has seen, nor ear has heard, nor has entered into the heart of a man, those things that you have desired, Lord, by that right to rule on this man, Donald J. Trump, would unfurl from his destiny scroll. We thank you for the good works and the purposes that you packed into his DNA from before the world's were. And we invite you, Lord, to cause those things, such things, Lord, as no eye has seen, or ear has heard, or has entered into the heart of a man, to be beholden upon by us. We thank you for such a mantle as this. I thank you for a prototype. I thank you, Lord, for a right to rule. I thank you, Lord, that that mantle covers not just a man. We don't look to a man. We look for the reign of the Lord Jesus Christ. But we thank you, Lord, for the glorious liberty of the sons of God. We thank you for the restoration of the earth. We thank you for the bondage of futility, Lord, that's reversed, Lord, by the revealing of the sons of God. We break the power of Antichrist from over Donald J. Trump. We thank you for his right to rule. We thank you for our right to rule. We thank you for the mantles upon him. We thank you, Lord, for setting us setting us uh, leaders and examples where, Lord, that we may be emboldened to take rule. But at this moment and in this hour of our country and in our lives, we ask, Lord, that Donald J. Trump's pen, his cell phone, his table, all of his assets, military assets and angelic assets. We pray, Lord, that you would anoint them and bless them and let them be completely indomitable. Lord, we just ask that Donald J. Trump's heart and mind would be opened to what assets that you have supplied, what host, what armies of angels that you have employed to secure his life, his family, his presidency. And we ask, Lord, that you grant him success in everything that he does. We ask, Lord, that you would grant him, Lord, your heart for the things, Lord, that you desire as far as an uprooting and a pulling down and a tearing away. And, Lord, that you give him a heart, Lord, to plant and to build Lord, like the way that you spoke to the prophet Jeremiah, we pray, Lord, that as Donald Trump, Lord, has shown tendencies to be somewhat of a wrecking ball, we pray, Lord, that you would set him forth, Lord, that those things that are before you, Lord, that are in the way of the destiny and the freedom, the liberty and the well-being of the American people, Lord, we pray that you would put those things on Donald Trump's heart to be unrelenting until they're completely demolished in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, that the communism and Islam and every antichrist um, notion in, the, in people's minds, we thank you that you have given us authority to cast down every um, thought that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. We thank you that every uh, doubt that makes us question our sonship, every uh, all the doubt, all the whispering and peeping and muttering of Satan that comes against Donald J. Trump, we're in, Lord, that he would be undermined in his right to rule, that you would, Lord, let those uh, thoughts which are untrue be demolished in Jesus Christ's name. Demolish them, Lord. Demolish the pretensions. And Lord, Lord, we pray that you'd bring to light, Lord, be it be it uh, the CIA or be it Islam or be it deep state or be it, Lord, people that are even close to him or in the corporate world or in Hollywood. We pray, Lord, that you would, Father, cause the malicious 
and murderous intentions of those that conspire in secret to come to the front to be held to account, Lord, and we render their devices and their speech nullified and voided, and we trust in you to turn their weapons against one another, turn their malice against one another, and completely, Lord, nullify and void, Lord, all of their devices. In Jesus Christ's name, And Lord, we identify with the reign of those that you've established that have gone before, that those that by faith, Lord, that have routed the armies of the aliens, those that have by faith, Lord, taken up, Lord, scepters, Lord, and executed a right to rule, those that by faith have raised the dead, Lord, we speak that life and that prosperity and that abundance and that well-being over the United States of America. And we ask, Lord, that these that had charge like as of King David and King Solomon Lord the angels that were behind his mighty men Lord we pray for mighty men Lord to be raised up around Donald J Trump we pray Lord that you would let it be Lord not a reliance on um, any agencies any three-letter agencies Lord Lord there is a function of those and we pray for those functions and we pray that they would be blessed Lord in the purposes and the, the tasks that they execute, Lord. But we ask, Lord, that you would let it be, Lord, that even like as Benaiah and the mighty men that surrounded David and Solomon, Lord, were endued for exploits. Lord, we pray, Lord, that you grant, Lord, there to be, Lord, an, a contingency and a company of angels, a re reinforcement of angels and ranks and files of hosts that would surround Donald J. Trump, his, his cabinet, Lord, all his travels, his family. Lord, we pray, Lord, that you would let it be, Lord, that even Beniah, who is like as a, a, e, even as an assassin, Lord, that, that routed David's enemies, that you would let it be, Lord, that that as you direct the courses of assassins, that you will cause it to be that those with malice, those, Lord, with, with uh, a desire to inflict harm on Donald J. 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 Trump's being or his presidency or his family, Lord, we cause we ask that you would cause, Lord, all those devices and all that attention to turn upon the perpetrators, wherein, Lord, that they would, Father, exhaust their malice upon themselves instead. Just seal this prayer. Bless Donald J. Trump. Bless him in the White House. Bless him with another term. We ask, Lord, that he would not, Lord, leave the White House until your purposes and the track and the prosperity and the abundance that you desire for this nation, Lord, to be established. So in that day, that when we as Americans gather with every other tongue, tribe, and nation, appear before your courts and in, at, at your throne, that you let it be, Lord, that of the abundance, fruit, Lord, we pray for fruit, American fruit, American prosperity, American well-being, and let it not just be, Lord, in the produce of our crops, Lord, in our agricultural system, but we pray for the fruits of the Spirit and the gifts of the Spirit to abound in the American church because, Lord, of the things that are being established in this hour by Donald J. Trump and his mantle, this been extended over the people of God in Jesus Christ's name.